Hello class, in this video I'll be uh, going over some tips on how to collaborate remotely. Um, in this class you have a group project and even with an online class um, it's important to learn how to work together. So why do we have a group project in an online class? Uh, this class is designed to prepare you for a health profession so regardless of which profession that is um, it's important to know how to work together in groups. Um, teamwork is important, whether you are the physician, social worker, um, clinical lab scientist, right? Um, you are never gonna be working in isolation. So it's important for you to know how to work with others to accomplish a task, um, and particularly uh, with people with different um, personalities. But this is an online class. Yes, it is an online class, but it is also 2018. There are so many options for working collaboratively um, through the internet. So you do not have to meet up in person in order to do well on this group project. You just have to work together. So here are some tools for online meetings. Um, or online collaboration, actually. So you can use Google Drive, uh, Google Hangout, Zoom, or group chat apps. Google Drive. Um, hopefully, you are familiar with this. Um, <clears throat> as a Cal State Fullerton student, you do have uh, a Google account. Um, and this Google Drive allows you to share files with group members and collaborate in real time. So you can use docs to brainstorm, create outlines, draft your script, add comments, or track version history. Um, let me just briefly show you a little bit of what that looks like. So this is Drive. You can go ahead and do new Google Doc. And then here, you can just go ahead and pretend it was Word. Um, you can click here at the top where it says share, and you can add your group members. You can also click, um, Click this and then you can add different comments. What's actually kind of cool about this is let's say that I, I want someone to upload something. Um, I can add a comment here and actually assign it to someone. Right, so I, if, if their email address is in here, I would just go ahead and click that and assign it to them. Um, you can also view version history, so you can see who uh, contributed what. And I just started this document, so you can't really see anything. Um, you can just see that Allied Health Academy added one thing. Um, this is helpful if you aren't sure like whose idea was what's what. Um, but you can edit this in real time. Um, and it's a pretty easy way to collaborate. All right, and then Google Slides. So this is actually Google Slides here, um, the presentation that I, the presentation tool that I was using earlier. Similarly, you know, you can collaborate in real time or, um, you know, it, it's online. So if you have a class, if your class schedules completely conflict and maybe one person's in a class, and gets out at four, another person starts at four, um, you can be editing this whenever you have time and then you can see the edits that other people are making. Um, again, you can share with other people. Um, go ahead and uh, add them here um, by clicking where it says share. You can also add comments. So again, similarly, if I wanted to say, okay, John, please, uh, edit this, then you can um, assign it to that person and then you'll know who's responsible for what. So I really like that about uh, Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Slide. Next, we have Google Hangout. So Google Hangouts are free with a Google account. You can either dial in or join by webcam and you can you share your screen. So you just go to hangouts.google.com and you can click where it says video call. 
and then you can go ahead and start a video call. Um, you would invite people here. It's kind of weird because you can see my, my face twice, but uh, basically just invite them via email. They'll, they'll get the invite and then you can be talking to each other um, here. You can also share your screen. Um, so click the dots at the top right, click share screen, and then other people can see what you are talking about. Um, additionally, you could be using Google Hangouts while you're in Google Drive, um, and, and that works pretty well from what I've seen. Zoom, so this is free for students. Um, so just go to fullerton.edu slash Zoom. If you didn't realize by now, um, I've been using Zoom um, for my video recordings this during this class. Um, anyone who's a currently enrolled Cal State Fullerton student, faculty or staff can use this. And you can actually have um, multiple people, up to 200 participants, which you won't really have that issue. Um, but you can be connected from your laptop, a tablet, your phone. Um, there are a lot of different ways to connect here. Um, and so similar to Google Hangouts, you can just be talking to people through video um, or you can share your screen. Um, they also have a feature to uh, do a whiteboard. So this is the whiteboard here. I don't know what you would actually use this for, but maybe you have some artistic reasons to be like, okay, we'll go from this screen to that screen, and then we'll end with something else. So um, that's just another option. All right. So going back to the presentation. There are also group chats. Oh, sorry. Let me go ahead and pull those up. So group me. If you aren't already using this app, it's a helpful uh, group chat. So maybe you don't want to give out everyone's number but you want to be able to contact them um, this is a great platform for doing a group chat you can um, do polls you can um, like messages you can share files um, it's not as easy to share files as like if you were using google docs but it's, it's still helpful um, and there's also slack i haven't really used this myself but i've heard great things about it in addition to being a group chat app, um, it's set up to help for, um, it's set up for work collaborations. So um, if someone has used this before, feel free to suggest that as an option for your group. All right. So back to the presentation. Um, you also want to think about group agreements. So beyond what tools are you using, what are you going to agree on as a group? What forms of communication are acceptable? Uh, email only, text only. Um, if you agree to email, how frequently are you expecting people to check their email per day? Um, <clears throat> when is communication acceptable? Anytime before 10 p.m at any time of the night. Some people work at 2 a.m., but other people might not want that text at 2 a.m. So uh, establishing those ground rules is very important. Additionally, who will hold certain responsibilities? Is everyone going to contribute content? Is someone gonna edit the video? Will, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, will someone find a professional to talk to? Um, think about whether the duties are equitably distributed or not. And then lastly, how will you keep each other accountable? Um, you will have several weeks to work on this project. If you feel like things are not moving along quickly, how will you 
call each other out, not necessarily in a bad way, but, you know, making sure that people stick to what they uh, said they were going to do. Um, or, you know, you could just wait until peer evaluation. Um, but I would rather that you not um, and try to just address it early on so um, you can work together successfully as a group. Um, on that note, I would encourage you to find out what each of your personality types are. Um, so there's a website, 16personalities.com. Uh, take the test and find out um, your own strengths, uh, as well as what others might perceive as your challenges. So for me, I'm an ISTJ, uh, which means that I am very structured. And I see that as a strength because I can keep things organized, but other people may view that as being too rigid and not open to new ideas. So it's important to know uh, for yourself as well as uh, what your group members are so you can understand if you have any conflicts. And that's it. So good luck. Um, please contact me if you have any questions or challenges. Thank you.